What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today we got another player to review It's gonna be that 89 rated fantasy FC Matias the lid we're looking at car at 6-2 on the height medium high work rate Double three star in the skill moves and weak foot with that right foot Acceleration type is lengthy 83 pace 68 passing 73 dribbling 89 defending 90 physicality as well Play styles of the car comes with is power shot on basic long ball pass block jockey on plus slide tackle bruiser area on plus and he has technical as well now with the lid there's only one chem style you want to give the card is the shadow chemistry style acceleration goes up to 88 you boost up that defending interceptions goes up to 94 defense awareness 95 stand tackling 97 and slide tackling gets maxed out 99 strength at 95 aggression at 90 is absolutely amazing what i don't like from the card is that he has 64 agility 71 balance not exactly the best combination hopefully with that jockey on plus it compensates that really low agility and balance now delay is going to be playing with this team right here shout out to the homie samoa we're going to be using this car in a 4-3-2-1 formation as a right center back right next to that team of the year renard and that's going to be a great test to see if this matthias delit perhaps is a top 10 cb in the game because he's over 1 million coins which in my opinion is very expensive because we haven't gotten a single the lit special card that's pretty meta this one's over 1 million coins and he does get a potential upgrades if i'm not mistaken the schedule for byron is pretty simple slash pretty easy so he should be able to get at least a plus two and a 91 version of this card does look pretty solid we're gonna play some games in foot champs and see if this the lit is top 10 in the video game all right, here we go with game number one. Let's see the type of team he has. The back line's okay. The midfield is solid. The attack is okay. It's not exactly top tier, but it still should be a good test for Delip. Turning a little bit slow. At least the step over was quick. Gonna send him on a wide ball. Nice, nice, nice. That's a great job bodying hemp right there. A very nice tackle and clean inside the box to not commit a pen. A very nice tackle once again versus Sterling. See, one on one defending. Too easy for the car, man. Way too easy. What an interception, man. That was fire. Wow. What a pass with that week for y'all, boys. Absolutely amazing. Probably going to send him on a wide ball right here. And another great interception, man. So far, I will admit, I am liking this card. He is feeling pretty nice. Great job. Very nice on keeping onto the ball right there. Turn a little bit slow, but that's expected because he has low agility. Great interception. Nice, back to back great interceptions. See the lid versus a lot. Uh oh, just got outpaced like crazy. But defends it very well at the end. Uh oh, very nice tackle. Nice and clutch. Great tackle once again. Very nice job on bodying Athena. Not 
Nice, man. This card is a fucking tank in the back. Great job, man. His jockeying is very nice. Even with the low agility and balance, that jockey on plus is doing a good job. Great tackle. Way to stop that counter. Great job. Ooh, LBY, but that is just way too easy for Delit. What a nice tackle, man. And that's not a penalty. This man's tackling is A1 as well. Great tackle once again. Nice and clean. It's going to be a very good test defensively. Nice stops that new Werner SPC. Great pass as well. Great tackle right there. Way to block that shot. Great composure to stay on his feet. That was a great step once again from the card. So wide ball and easily wins the tackle. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 89 Fantasy FC Delit. Coming around 1.1 million coins by the time I'm recording this video. 1.2 million coins on the PC market. We played three games with the card. Three nice and easy wins. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, guys, I am impressed. I am impressed with this Delit card. Absolutely insane. Makes the argument for a top 10 CB in the game. As crazy as that might sound to some people, He's like that. I did like what I saw in game. Pearls right off the bat is number one. He's 6'2 on the height. Checks that box right there. Next, medium high work rates. Great work rates for somebody that believes in work rates. Next, and arguably the best aspect from the card is the physicality. 95 strength, 90 aggression. With his body type, he wins every single one-on-one -on -one tackle, no matter what attacker we are going against. And that transcends into my next pro with this card is the defending. The defending is absolutely top tier. 91 defensive awareness going up to 95. Always at the right spot at the right moment defensively. And then stand tackling going up to 97. Interceptions going up to 94 as well, guys. Like I said, if you're somebody that loves to manually defend with your center backs and you're an aggressive defender, this is the lid. Does a very nice job on keeping onto the ball every time he receives the interception. Now, the big question going into today's video was, is the agility and balance going to be a liability with this card? What is jockeying? And I'm going to be completely honest. It is not. 64 agility, 71 balance is absolutely low, but a 1,000% gets compensated with that jockey on plus. Guys, jockey on plus on this delete makes him feel like he has 80 plus agility and balance. As crazy as that might sound, that just shows you how overpowered these gold play styles are in EFC 24. One thing about the card that's not exactly top tier is the pace. He doesn't have that explosiveness to catch up into certain attackers like a team of the year Van Dyke, a team of the year Rio Ferdinand, and those type of cards. And it makes sense because he only has 80 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, which isn't bad, but it's not top tier. It goes up to 88 in 93. And it kind of makes sense why this card is over 1 million coins because he plays exceptionally well in game right now as an 89 overall. But with a couple more upgrades, he could be an absolute tank in the back more than he already is. So he's going to get a thumbs up for me. He's going to get a rating of a 9 out of 10, guys. Absolutely amazing. I think he makes the argument for top 10 CB. I'm not exactly sure if he's going to be on that list because I will be dropping that updated rankings in about one to two weeks. So we're gonna have to see if the lit makes the argument for being in that list because this card right now, he's giving me team of the year the lit vibes from I think it was FIFA 20, if not FIFA 21. I forgot which FIFA it was where he got team of the year. And that card was really nice. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Team of the year the lit was very fun to use back in the day. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next video that I'm gonna go ahead and drop, I believe is going to be a Fantasy FC Hero Futra. So we're gonna have to see if that card is a potential top 10 winger in the game. His Champions League card was very hyped out. He has five-star skill moves. Unfortunately, he does have three-star weak foot, if I'm not mistaken. 
Why couldn't they just give him that four-star weak foot? But it is what it is. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.